In studying my drawing, I'm going to start here in the lower left corner. From that point, I'm going to pull a horizontal line two inches long, then a vertical line two inches high, horizontal line four inches, vertical line at two. This top edge is going to be six inches long, and then back to the origin, and that line has a length of four. I'll start a line command, and my start point is going to be the absolute coordinates of 4, 2. That's 4 on the X and 2 on the Y. So I'll enter that from the keyboard, 4, 2, and hit Enter. That defines my start point. Now, because my lines will be horizontal and vertical, I'm going to turn ortho mode on. Ortho will force me into horizontal lines, and now as I pull or stretch that line, I'm going to enter 2 from the keyboard for direct distance entry. I'll pull a line vertical. This line is also 2, which I'll enter from the keyboard. A horizontal line at 4, a vertical line at 2, horizontal line at 6, and that should be perpendicular to my end point here. I'm going to use close, and that takes me back to my start point and closes my object. Next I'm going to add a circle that represents a hole on this end of my object. I'll start a circle command and the absolute location is 9 on the X, comma, 5 on the Y. I'll hit enter and that finds my start point. Now the size of this circle is 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to enter 3 slash 8 from the keyboard and that fixes the size of my circle. At this point if I want to check and see if my drawing is accurate one of my tools is just the quick properties of any object. So with no command active on the command line I'm going to click on an object and I see the blue grips light up. And with my quick properties box turned on, I can see information about that particular object. So I can check, yes, this is six units long. To turn off this selection, I hit the escape button. How about the hole? Let's take a look at that. The circle, it tells me that its location on the X and Y it also tells me its radius and diameter, and so I can see that this also is in the correct place. In fact, I can use my quick properties if I wanted to change the location of this hole. I can edit them here in the quick properties box. To demonstrate this, let's try it. I'm going to change the value on the X to 5 and the value on the Y to 3 and you can see immediately the changes are taking place. Hit escape and we've done some editing using our quick properties box. Another tool that I have for checking my work is under my utilities panel and it's the command for measure. It has a flyout that allows me several different measurements that I can make. Let's start with looking at distance. When I use my measure command, I want to make sure my object snaps are turned on so I can take an accurate measurement. So I'm going to click on the end of this line and click on its opposite end down here. And it tells me that that line is 4, which is correct. Or I could check by using radius to check the radius of this circle. Clicking on it, it tells me its radius and its diameter.